Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be looking at this Dell power supply. Reason being, there is a burnout connection on it. And the computer it come out of, I'm not sure if it really worked or not. I think it, I think the power supply is still good, but I just want to be sure. The reason why I want to look at it is because of this connection here. Notice here, the ATX 12 volt connection is burnt out really bad due to high resistance in the plug. It could either be due to the high resistance or it could have been hit by lightning. The power supply could have been hit by lightning. So that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop open this power supply and see if there's any physical, anything physically wrong with it. Have a look at the specs here. It is a 350 watt power supply. You see, 5 volt rail puts out 22 amps max. 5 volt standby, 2 amps. Plus 12 volt A, 18 amps. Plus 12 volt V, 18 amps. So it has two 12 volt rails, 18 amps a piece. 3.3 volt rail is 17 amps. And of course, our minus 12 is 1 amps. And this is a fairly new revision of ATX because it doesn't have a minus 5 volt rail, which is not required nowadays. It tells you here it says combined power on plus 3.3 and plus 5 volt should not exceed 150 watts. Basically this means a lot of power is on the 12 volt rail. Combined power on 12 volt and you yeah, had 12 volt rail A and 12 volt B rail should not exceed 336 watts so it can definitely deliver the power to 12 volt rail. Max continuous total DC output power shall not exceed 350 watts. It is a 24 pin power supply compatible with standard ATX it also has this weird connection here not sure what that's for probably a proprietary Dell connection no biggie it was never used it also has PCI Express connections pull this little cover off here have a look at that you could plug up a graphics card to this thing it has I think one PCI Express connection Definitely good if it was upgrading your Dell computer. It's come out of a Dell Dimension 8400, I believe. Is that yeah? I think it was 8400. Correct me if I'm wrong. This power supply could possibly be made by Light On. It could be made by Hypro. Looks kind of like a Hypro, in my opinion, but we'll find out here shortly. Once we open it up, might be able to find out anyway. So let's go ahead and open it up. That's a bit fine sliding into the screwdriver. What that loud noise was. Okay, let's get a sniff these zip ties here to free up the cables.
It's always going to be a pain to get loose. That's why I don't use zip ties. I usually use electrical tape to tie up wires. It's so much easier to get loose whenever you want to get the wires loose. Okay, let's open her up. Seems like a really good power supply, in my opinion. Just going to have a look here at what's in it. This could, I guess we could also consider this as a another example of a quality power supply video. Good filtering components. We see coils. We see capacitors. Had the capacitors here at the side. That's good. We have our rectifying bridge. MOVs. Our two primary capacitors. And they are rated at <clears throat> um, 820 microfarad. A lot of these cheaper power supplies in the market usually only have like 420 or so. So def this is definitely a big difference here. They have humongous heat sinks. I don't see any bad capacitors in here, so that's good. Have this separate circuit board here, which goes also contains the fan speed controller. <coughs> This definitely looks like a good power supply, so what I would be doing here is I'll be snipping off this old burnout ATX trouble connection and I'll wire on a new one or solder a new one for best conductivity. Fan spins really good. This is definitely a good power supply. You could throw this into a brand new machine. Like let's say you want to build probably even, it, this thing could probably even power a Phenom 2 125 watt CPU easily with the dual 12 volt rails rated at 18 amps a piece. Should handle it no problem. At least an A5 watt should be able to handle. <clears throat> This could definitely run the Mid-Tower Lux Black Max. Not sure if it can run that or not. Because that computer has a lot of stuff in it. I mean, anyways. This is definitely a good power supply. So basically I just wanted to go and open it up and just have a little check. <clears throat> just check over the components, make sure everything is good. So evidently, this power supply just had a defective connector. Either the connector for the power supply defective or it was on the main board itself. I don't know which. Anyways, this power supply is good to go. Let's see if I can tell who manufactured it. Um, I'm seeing it's a light on power supply because I'm looking here at the transformer and it says light on. So, light on made, made this unit, which light on is. <clears throat> A brand that usually makes, you know, optical drives, that sort of stuff. Not very, very huge on power supplies, at least for the retail market. They do manufacture OEM power supplies, such as this one. It is a good quality unit, though. Definitely set for sure. So, there you have it. There's a Dell power supply that looks really well. And is made by a light on. Any questions or comments? Let me know.